gonna start recording. I guess I have to do this. That's where the high spots will be. I don't know, I got a bunch of shit in my pocket. Okay, ready? Okay. I don't know, it's what they do on the on the videos. Anyways, hey everyone. Um, this is the current stable of bikes I have. Uh, on the right is the Royal Alloy Grand Touring uh, GP150. I have a Husqvarna Spark Pillin 401. And last but not least is the 2002 um, uh, Harley Davidson Sportster. So like, I'm trying to figure out what kind of bikes I like, um, what fits me. I'm 6'2", about 230. And I'm gonna drive around a little bit today on the, <laughs> on the Royal Alloy and see how that goes. So here we are. The Grand, the Grand, the Royal Alloy <laughs> Grand Prix 150. Yeah, back in the day I used to ride on Vespas in Lambrettas when I was a kid. It's actually the first bike I ever learned to ride on. Um, and I wanted to get back into riding again. I was like, well, I don't want to jump on some 600 pound bike and just eat shit. So then I kind of stumbled across Royal Alloys and I always loved Lambrettas. I love the look of them. And I saw this and I was like, holy shit, it looks just like a Lambretta. So it's got, you know, obviously there's no clutch. So just, just pull the throttle and go. But it's pretty neat. Like it, it's very vintage looking, but it's got a, it's got some modern amenities like the uh, the digital dashboard here. I don't know if you can see that. No idea what, what my camera's looking. Sit a little high. Again, I'm 6'2". I mean, I'm comfortable. It's just the knees you got to worry about. Uh, it's the knees really. Everything else is feels pretty good. Ergonomics are pretty good. I'm sitting up straight. Um, and by the way, thank you for anyone who's watching this for any length of time. I. Uh, I can only imagine. Hey there. I'm going. I'm fucking going. Oh shit. Oh shit. Danger. Danger. Beep beep. Very, very intimidating horn that blasts out of this. So, as I'm a super noob rider, and I just practice in the parking lot, like the figure eights that. Ugh. Do you guys have these fucking silkworms where you're at right now? I know this thing's on me now. Ugh, I'll find it when I get back. Anyways, you know, like the the figure eights that I see uh, people do on those road kings, and I'm like, how in the bloody hell do you do that? It turns off when you turn the kickstand over. Ugh, so, there it is. Hold on, I want to see if one of these worms is on me. No. Nope. Yeah, an aftermarket exhaust gives you a one extra horsepower. I think I said that already. Uh, bronze, get a new seat, put the barn mirrors on it. it. Does have a center stand. It actually, I think has a kickstart too. I think that's what that is. Comes with a little luggage rack. Let's see. A glove box. It's got a port here. Put a USB. Comes with a little tool kit. All that neat stuff. Oh, it's got little, little, oh, little side pegs for your friends that want to come along with you. Those cows can come off if you want to get into the engine. Um, yeah, look at this shit. Isn't that crazy? Oh, is there one on here? Did he make his way on here? No. No, no, no. He's here somewhere. Good God. First day I get the bike, so I go to the gas station, put gas in. The damn handle on the gas pump locks, and it starts overflowing <laughs> in the gas tank. And I pull the nozzle out, and fucking gas is flying everywhere because the handle. God, we can't stop cussing. All right, let's get this thing out. 35, 36. We're going now. 38. Cautious new rider, cautious around the corners. But yeah, I just wanted to kind of introduce the, the Royal Alloy. There's not a lot of videos about these, and I know this one wasn't really that informational. <laughs> I think it was just me trying to muck around on the bike and tell you a little bit about it, but try to drive the Husqvarna, drive them the uh, Sportster, and just kind of give my two cents on the, the feeling and difference of them. Anyways, let me know your thoughts. 
I'm pulling in. Peace out. <laughs>